Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Oh. Winter is coming on. What are you waiting for? <laughs> what are you waiting for? We share, don't we, Gus? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Sure. These are the new ones that I got the other day. The way you're going to mount orchids, if you're using driftwood, make sure you have plenty of pieces to choose from. Out of the driveway, there are three pallets covered in driftwood pieces from small to quite large. Some of them I've already prepared with hooks, like this one. I like that one. This isn't bad. Because your first choice might not be your best one. I like the ones I've chosen. Not so sure about that one, but I like the way it sits in there. Anyway, let's get on with it. Enough of this waffling on. One thing I don't like about some other people's videos is they got ridiculous music going on. And some people, some videos, there is absolutely nothing being said other than a little hand gestures here and there. Okay, let's get into it. I've got my labels already. Uh-oh. He, he wants to play now. Have all the things that you are going to be using ready. Okay. First things first, attach my line. Okay, add a little bit of sphagnum moss. Living, good, healthy sphagnum moss. You don't need a lot. That's probably as much as I'm going to need. Tuck it in. Not too tight. A bit squeezy. I can always trim that up a little bit more later. Let's tuck that in there. Okay, then we simply start wrapping. This is where I use this fly tying type of spool. Or bobbin is actually what they are called in fly tying lingo. There, it's tied on. Now I do the exact same thing, a little bit more. It's a little backhand tie. That's secure. On goes the label. Cut off the thread, fishing line. Trim that up, and it's done. How long did that take? Oh, hours. 
Come on, hold still. How long did that take? Hours! All right. Let's see if we can do it again. All right. Pull out a little bit of line from my bobbin. Let's get a closer look at that. Okay. I just reach in, flip my hand over. Two times is enough, three times is good. Okay. That's secure. It's not going anywhere. All right. Once again, a little bit of uh, sphagnum moss tucked in there. Add your division in there. Wrap the line around. Oops, tuck that in. And cut that in between. There we go. That's done. So once again, the back end flip. Trim off your uh, excess line. What's that other bit? There it is. All those little bits go into the uh, garbage. I oftentimes melt them with a, a small torch. Okay. There we are. Second one. It shouldn't, I hate that word, shouldn't take a long time. It's actually fairly quick. All right, number three. I'm always looking for pieces that have interesting grain. These are all pieces of Tasmanian hardwoods that uh, I pick up either at the mouth of one of the rivers or one of the lakes up in the, uh, the highlands. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do a proper sequence. Because nothing worse than having everything in place and then fumbling, trying to tie it off. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Thou shalt be chastised. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have to trim off any of those uh, bits at all. Okay, that one's secure. Back we go. Two. Three, pull it tight. Trim it off. Get out of the way. Where are my other labels? Ah, there's one. No, it isn't. Ooh, ah, here we are. That other kicky is a uh, little king yanum. That, uh, Oh, double them up. Double them up for now. Okay. Number four. I'm not in a race or anything like that, but it really, I hate that word should, it really shouldn't take ages to mount an orchid. Some people just fumble and whatever, whatever. But if you have everything 
lined up and prepared before you even start. Let's see, which way, which way? Yeah, all right, I'll put it that way. If you have everything lined up before you even begin, it becomes a fairly straightforward process. Get that through there. There we are. And the nice thing with a bobbin, there's always a little bit of tension. Put that one up. Put my thumb there. There's always a little bit of tension on the line. So if you let go of it, it's not going to end up falling on the floor, unspooling, and end up making a horrible, horrible mess. I'm going to try and get that last little, little bit of uh, root system laying down. No, I think I'm going to have to cut that bit off. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. Little backhand tuck and a tug. I'm curious to see when I finish this video actually how long it took me. Come on. To, uh, whoop, to do the mounts. Four of them. Cut off that little, last little bit there. Which is rather get in there. Actually, there's still a little bit of juice in it, but I'm going to cut it off close. We'll leave that little bit there. They're all labeled Dendrobium Golden Blossom Cruenta. Cruenta. There we are. Four of them. Let's see if I can get that little angle a little bit better. Four of them. Didn't take forever, did it? No. Didn't. All right. That's it. Wayne's Weird World. See you next time. Cheers.